What's up guys, it's Ventures and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a great budget product that I think we all like and something we all definitely would need. So we're going to be looking at today the Havat headset stand I found on Amazon for around the $20 mark. Is this something you like or something you just might need? I'll let you be the judge as we take a look at this full review. Let's get into it. So here it is, the Havat headset stand here. And uh, before we get started into the review of the stand, I'll show you what you get, really. You, know, you get a nice, clean box. It says, hello, thank you for choosing Havat. And in this box, you also get some uh, information on the power rates and things of that nature. This is the headset stand number, RGB headset stand, all the cool stuff. Uh, so it's incorporated 3.5 millimeter headphone, hold to enhance convenience and connection. The base of the equipment is equipped with two USB interfaces, which can be directly connected to devices to reduce clutter and greatly improve efficiency of use. 16 million colors, breathing light effects, which can be switched to six types of cooling light by the LED toggle key. So I will show that to you in just a moment. So you also get that. You get the user manual. So, you know, basically gives you some general information, some, you know, how to's, maybe some troubleshooting about what you might run into or things of that nature it's pretty self-explanatory you don't need a whole lot but you do get that in the box and also what i've gotten was a little like uh pamphlet it tells you, you know we give a like to the uh amazon listing or what listings that you have to kind of just give them some more things so those come in the box so that being out the way let's let's talk about the headphone stand itself the headset stand should i say so headset stand is made out of very very tough plastic as you can see it's very thick very strong plastic you can tell that it's, it's it, it there's a little flex if you put some weight to it but you know it's holding a headphone stand so you don't have to worry about it really breaking a whole whole lot um, it's very strong very nice plastic uh, we take a look as to the bottom it does have an anti-slip pads here so on these pads they do have four inch slip pads I noticed that it does a good job with uh, out causing the slip uh, causing anything to uh, you know slide on your desk or where have you put it around the side and the bottom you see an RGB strip now this RGB strip goes all the way around the base of the headset stand and as you can see it comes to the back all the way to the sides on all the way through now leading to this side this is where you have the actual two USB prongs here this is what you connect into the PC you can put a prong here, prong here, and here is where you have the headphones uh, jack, which you can actually plug a pair of wired headphones to this jack and be able to get audio coming out of the PC that you use. Uh, this button will actually change to RGB, and it has five color lighting modes. So every time you press this, this will change the actual RGB color to a different color, rainbow, blue, red, you know, general colors there. Um, and it will also go to a breathing mode as well and when you press that. So if you notice this has a long USB cable going to the actual two USB ports. Now you notice these are two different colors. One is a red and one is white. Well the way this works is that if you choose not to use this headphone stand uh, in the actual PC you can use this red actual USB port to plug into and use as a power source that will light the actual headset stand up and have the RGB working. Now, I'll be honest with you, in my testing, I have yet to get this actual lead to work with just the red uh, USB plugged into like a wall outlet or something like that. It didn't work for me, but the white one, which is actually used for data transfer and to power the headset stand through PC, does work fine. I was able to get that to work. It does light up, it does show very well, and it does have good bright colors that allow you to be able to uh, see that headphone stand light up. So, you look at it, it it's, like I said, it's in good construction, has good, it's weighted of the base. 
as you can see it, it doesn't really fall very very easy and I haven't really had troubles knocking it over or anything like that it, it does a good job there but just getting back to the side here now this headset stand does say that it does offer 7.1 surround sound I haven't quite experienced it when I plugged in my head headphones um, you know, it sounded pretty good. I mean, I like the the the, the bass, the mids, and the highs were, were were relatively punchy. They were they were decent. I wouldn't quite say they were seven point one that I've noticed, but they weren't bad. They didn't cause a, a bad sound at all. I will say these two actually USB uh, connections here that allows it like a USB pass through to plug things in work excellent. I can charge my cell phone in just by taking the cord, plugging into a cell phone or anything that you have uh, USB uh, on the actual device, plug it in, charges things up, it connects to the computer. It's almost the same as actually if you had a USB port on the actual computer. It works very, very well and like that. Um, and all in all, this headset stand is actually very, very good. And I also want to mention down the top, this also lights up as well. So you get to see this light up with this headset stand when you plug it in and it also cuts colors along with what goes around the side. Other than that, it's pretty basic and it's a pretty neat headset stand. You know, it able to take different headsets uh, regardless of, you know, really weight, size. Um, it sits just fine, sits nice, no real problems. Um, also notice that some headsets have more of a cloth feel. So, if you have a cloth feel headset stand, it doesn't really leave a huge indentation. Uh, a little bit it does, but it doesn't really give it to a point where the indentation is so bad that you know you're not going to really you know notice a big difference. You can take another headset stand that has more of a leather kind of band, and it does fit on there just fine as well. Um, it looks really great. It is it sits flush. I don't have any real problems out of it. It's a great headset stand. Now, if you consider other headset stands for some of the bigger names like uh, Razer from Corsair, which I'm a fan of Corsair, but I'm not a fan of that $67 price tag on that. So if you consider that all in all, I would say uh, this is an excellent price and something I would definitely pick up if you're in a, to a budget gaming kind of a deal and you want just a great headset stand you know, for your needs. And uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. This headset stand to me works very, very well. I said, like I said, the downside I noticed was with one of the actual USB cables, the red cable, did not allow me to actually power the LEDs on the bottom when I tried it. But, you know, it might work for you. Maybe it's just user error, but just wanted to let you guys know about that in my experience. So, yeah, that was pretty much my review of the Havat headset stand. Uh, is there something that you guys will probably pick up for around the $20, $25 mark? Leave a comment down below. Let me know if they would. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out my review. And please leave a like. And of course, it supports the channel. And uh, I will see you on the next review. And as always, keep that flame going for gaming. Peace out, guys.